Which tool do you think is most frequently used in Revit? Yes, it's the properties palette. Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. This is episode three and today we are going to take a deeper dive into the properties palette. We're going to understand what are instance properties, type properties and how to work with them. I'm going to demonstrate this using this sample file and the three power generators that it has. Let's select one of these. In the properties palette, you can see that it belongs to site category. MWIN power generator is the name of its family and nine meter high is the name of its type. If I right click, select all instances in entire project, I will know from here in the brackets that there are three instances of this particular type in this project. Let's select only one of these. The properties palette is showing me all the information related to this selection, which is why this is instance properties. Here we can see that this instance is at 500 millimeter offset from the host, which is the level one. Let's say I make it 1500 millimeter. This change that we have done in the instance properties has affected only the instance that we have selected. Let's go to edit type and open the type properties. The pole height and the total height parameters are type parameters. If I make any change here, that change is going to affect the type, which means all the instances of that type. Let's try that. I will make this 5000 millimeters, which is five meters. And I'm going to say okay to this. You can see that although we have not selected these two power generators, their height was also changed to five meters. I will edit the type and go into the type properties. Let's change this to 9000 millimeters again. Now I want to make only this element five meter high, whereas I want these two power generators to remain at nine meter high as they are right now. How do we do that? If you go into the edit type properties and directly make change here, all the three generators are going to be five meters high, which means we need a new type. To create a new type in Revit, we will need to duplicate an existing one. Let's duplicate, give it a new name, five meter high, and change its value to 5,000 millimeters. You can see here now that if I right click, select all instances and entire project, it shows that there is only one instance of five meter high type. Right click, select all instances and entire project. There are two instances of the nine meter high. Let's say that I want to change the height of this wind power generator to five meter high. Should I duplicate the type again? Let's go to the type selector and see if we have what we need. We already have a type called five meter high. So I can simply switch this power generator from nine meter to five meter. If you would like to try this exercise on your screen, I have all the steps listed here. You may pause this video at this point and try it out. In the next episode, we are going to talk about different file formats that you will encounter while working in Revit. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next.